Hello everybody, my name is Humphrey and today's story is called Max's Dragon Shirt by Rosemary Wells. Max loved his old blue pants more than anything. Those pants are disgusting, Max, said Max's sister, Ruby. We're going to the store to buy you a pair of brand new pants, Ruby said. Dragon shirt, said Max. No, Max, said Ruby. Mother only gave me five dollars to buy pants. After that, there'll be no money left. On the way up to boys' sportswear, Ruby saw a red dress that she absolutely loved. She thought she would try it on just for fun. It was too tight. Ruby wanted to find another dress. Wait there and don't move, said Ruby. Dragon shirt, said Max. Max, said Ruby, after we buy your new pants, we'll have no money left. Ruby put on a green dress. It was too big. Stay here just for a minute, Max, she said. Then she came back with a purple dress. The purple dress was ugly. I'll be right back, Max, said Ruby. After a while, Max woke up. Ruby was gone. He went to look for her. He saw her yellow dress and followed it out of girls' better dresses. Into hats and then into boys' sportswear where he found a dragon shirt. Dragon shirt, please, Max asked Ruby. But it wasn't Ruby in the yellow dress. It was a teenager. Max screamed. Back in girls' better dresses, Ruby heard it. She ran to the changing room. Max was gone. Ruby could not see him anywhere. She went down the escalator to makeup. Have you seen a little boy in blue pants? Ruby asked the perfume lady. No, said the perfume lady, but I have some nice blue perfume. Are you looking for a vacuum cleaner? Asked the man in large appliances. No, said Ruby. I'm looking for a little boy in blue pants. Ruby went up the escalator to boys' sportswear. Max, where are you? she shouted. Are you looking for someone? asked the sales lady. I'm looking for a little boy in blue pants, said Ruby. I saw a little boy in a green shirt, said the sales lady. He was looking for his sister in a yellow dress. That's me, said Ruby. No, it isn't, said the sales lady. That's a purple dress if I've ever seen one. The sales lady made Ruby put on her own dress. Then she took her down the escalator to the restaurant. Your brother could use a new pair of pants, said the sales lady. Boy's pants are only five dollars a pair this week. Max was eating ice cream with two policemen and the teenager. There was chocolate, strawberry and pistachio ice cream all over the dragon shirt. That's a five dollar shirt, said the sales lady. Ruby had to buy it. No money left, said Max. And that's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next time.
Goodbye.